Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the second of our Cupid webinar series. And my name is Michael Kerwin, and today we're going to look at the new features within the Cupid, such as the template and the BOQ reporting feature. Uh, as a presentation, it's obviously going to focus on the new features in Cupid only. Those of you who have not been exposed to Cupid or PG2 before, uh, you may wish to uh, maybe attend one of our free introductory to Cubit sessions that will be running every Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock, at 10 a.m. for the remainder of 2014. If you wish to attend, just maybe get in touch with me outside of the uh, webinar. So I'll leave it open at the end of the presentation if people would like to ask any questions. In the down the bottom in your go to webinar message box, you'll be able to type it and I'll go through them at the end where possible. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna first talk about the new templates feature within the software. So one of the new options on your job manager screen is the ability of having this uses a template button. What that allows you to do is you can mark any job or as many jobs as you wish as a template. And what that will allow you to do is you to use that job when creating new jobs, uh, all the contents within. So, uh, as I say, you can mark as many as you wish. Now, what we normally would recommend, you know, just for purely ease of reference and updating, that you might create a project a call template and store all of your templates within there. But you don't have to, it's just a, you know, it's just a suggestion. So as you can see, I have a number of jobs marked as templates. So one of the new features when you're creating a new job, so if I choose a new job, let's say I put it in the webinar project, is that when I get the new job, I'm able to enter in a new job name. I've got a template job sample. And on the draft down menu there, I have a list of all the jobs I've marked as a template. If I don't want to use a template and create a blank one, I just leave that section blank. But if I wish to choose a template job, I just select it on my list. And when I hit OK, it will create my new job in the project selected. But it will use the content from our template job for the estimate screen. So I create that as normal as I have. And if I just hit the open button then, you notice that when I when I open that job, all of the contents from descriptions, unit rates, markups, etc are all automatically copied into my new job from the template. So rather than we have to build these up, I can just use the template as a way of copying them in. And all that information carries forward. So then you'll notice that the quantity cell is completely blank. So none of that information comes in for us. Okay, one of the other options, if I just collapse all of that in both, is that while you're in an existing job, on the ribbon, there's a new insert section, and one of the options is templates. Okay, and what that does for you is if I choose that, that opens up an insert from the template window, and on the drop down, I'm able to choose one of my template jobs, which in turn would display a list of the options within it. Okay, so what that allows me to do, if I expand any of the sections down using the arrow here, it gives me a breakdown of all the different items 
we end up including all of the headings. If you have any rates, they are automatically displayed as well. So what we're able to do is we're able to come along and choose any of the items. So depending on your cascade selection, I've got up and down selected. If I choose the element name, all of the items underneath that element are automatically selected for me. Okay? If I choose an item, because I have up and down selected, it will actually select that item and all of the headings associated with it for me. So if you wanted to insert that into your job, you just choose what you require and then hit the insert button for yourself. And you notice that when I hit insert, that whole section will appear on the next line for me. If I wish to insert from a different job, all I gotta do is hit the drop down, select another job, whatever it is. And I can insert that from myself. Okay, so yeah, you know, when you're using templates, you can either create a job based off a template, or you can use the insert templates option to be able to bring in data from jobs into new jobs for yourself. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the new POQ reporting option. So I'll just close that job. Okay, so if I just open up my fellow quantities. Okay, as you can see, I have a bit of a bill laid out here with some information. So on the data tab on our ribbon, you'll notice that there's a new couple of new report options available in Cuba. One of them is the VOQ drop-down menu. Okay, so basically on the drop-down you have an option to be able to print the VOQ, print the summary. If you wish to print the VOQ with any prices, if the rate sales, etc., were filled in for you. And we've also got the inner option and a reset option window. So if I wanted to print the bill, the first thing I might want to do is insert my bill reference column. So if I right click here and go in the column chooser, what that gives me is the option that I can add and I can then drag my bill reference column to my job. And close that. Okay, so you can see the bill references are automatic to care for yourself. Now to print the bill, all you gotta do is go to VOQ and choose VOQ. And what that does that generates up our bill for us. Okay, so we just maximize that up here. Okay, so you can see there now when I print the bill, it's automatically generating up our bill of quantities. And we set an option at the top. So you can look at a one page, two page, four page, etc. So it's up to yourself how you want to display. You've got your navigation up here where you can know, switch between the pages for yourself. If you like to adjust the layout on your document section, you have your option menu. And what that does, that gives you a list of all the POQ reporting options. So if you're familiar with the global estimating system, you'll be familiar with these options. So you're able to turn them on and off as you record them. So all of those settings are available for you. And if you make any changes, say you're adding a new line, say, and remember I did. I can hit OK there. And what that would do is that would reset those options and regenerate the report automatically for you, adding in the new values. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll open it up to any questions. So if anyone has any questions, 
become failed and NTLMS is fast. 